Hey, Gary Cruz here. I'm um, talking about some options on how to connect an iPhone to a mixer at a school. I've labeled this mic one and mic two that we have as XLR inputs. If you're not familiar with XLR, are these connectors typically used for microphones. And the benefit of these is the uh, longer distance that it provides without adding additional noise. Now what you're probably used to are these on your stereo. And you'll typically connect your headphones. This is your headphone jack on your iPhone and then this to the back. But what if your mixer doesn't have these inputs? On the back of the mixer, what I've done is I've connected this cable, which is an aux cable, to TRS. I'll show that in an overlay. And then what I've done is I connected this Bluetooth adapter, and then I have that wirelessly connected to my iPhone. So now if I needed to play some sounds, I got some sound effects like that. And so um, that's how I get the sound from my phone into the mixer. Now the next thing, um, if you're worried about this walking away, the next option is this pile. Uh, this pile PPRE70BT. And it is a, it's basically a mixer with Bluetooth. It's a preamp, a rack mount pre, uh, amp preamplifier with Bluetooth and also has SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. This is a old school audio system that connects to the sound. You can see that it has a tape player, it has a tape player and a CD player, which we no longer use. Most of these events are using iPhones now. And what I did is I took that connector with the, the headphone jack and put it into input five with left and right. That's a TRS input. It looks like this both connectors and it has left and right. Yours might differ, but you can see there's no RCA inputs in here. We have one in here as part of the equalizer, but um, I decided to use this since it has a stereo. And also, if you're interested in recording the audio coming from this board, I took the audio out that was going to the speakers from the equalizer and I split it. So now I have one for speakers and then one going to this wireless mix out. I just call this mix out. And it's a transmitter that then connects to this recorder. I have a mix pre here. So if we test this out on the microphone, check one, two, check one, two. I'd like to ask all of these students to be quiet right now so that our participants can hear our roles. Your word is Filters. Filters. F-I-L-T-E-R-S. Filters. That is correct. Aiden, Australia and which other continent lie entirely in the southern hemisphere? Antarctica. That is correct. So the audio is coming in here over Bluetooth on this receiver. All right, let's go ahead and get the rack unit installed that will provide Bluetooth, and I'll probably take um, one of these inputs right here. Here's the unit. We've got an aux input, uh, th like a direct headphone, uh, microphone input. We've got some basic equalization for bass, mid, and treble, the balance for left and right, the master mix, and then this could play off an SD card, or a USB stick. And what's beautiful about this is that there's inputs here that provide RCA, and then the outputs are XLR, which I'll have going into the back of the mixer. All right, let's go ahead and get the ears on this. You can see it also comes with a remote and a one-year warranty. Okay, plugged in the power. And uh, let's plug this over here in the power. All right, now we've got some cables to plug in. I'll put this on input six. All 
All right, so we've got an XLR left. And then we'll put this on the left of input six. And then we've got the right. So just so you can see, this is XLR female to TRS. That stands for tip ring sleeve. This is gonna be the right channel. And we'll put this over here on input six for the right. Input six. All right, so let's label this appropriately. Put this on input six as Bluetooth. Test this out with an SD card. I put a bunch of songs in the root level and I also put some in the folder. Let's see if this works. Okay, so the audio is working. You can see it's coming through. All right, let's go ahead and try to pair this. I guess it's called BT. So let's collect, connect to that. Now it says it's connected. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so I'm right here beside the mixer. I want to see how far it goes. Okay, it goes pretty far. Let's go to my, this is what I use for sound effects for the basketball game. So if I go to load project, I put some sound effects in here for basketball. So let's go ahead and go over here. So these are the sound effects. All right, that wraps it up.